Hello everybody and welcome to uh, another episode of Astroneer. Uh, but this isn't going to be a playthrough or play of Astroneer. Uh, I just want to provide some information. Um, it's been a while since I've had a video uploaded and there's a reason for it. Uh, many of you may recall I refer to my co-astroneer Dax many times. At 6.26 p.m. July 6, 2023, Dax died in my arms um, from uh, euthanasia. Uh, she had been going downhill. It was gradual. It was... At first gradual, it started probably late May. I should have noticed it. Uh, when she was not being as present as she usually was. Um, I stopped getting my morning groomings. About 30 minutes before sunrise every morning, I'd get groomed by Dex. Uh, she stopped hopping up on the bed. She stopped hopping up on anything. She couldn't get up on top of anything. Uh, she was not really eating a lot. Uh, I didn't even really notice how fast she was losing weight. Um, it was gradual, but it was exponential. The 1st of July, I noticed, was when I really started to notice something going on. And by the 4th of July, she was in a lot of trouble. I made a decision. I had to make a decision. I didn't like that decision, but I had to just make a decision on what I could do. Uh, my resources are not unlimited. Uh, I didn't have... I don't have the money to keep a cat alive. And I don't know if it would have been a good extension. I don't think she was... She may not have been suffering, but the amount of downhill movement that she made just between the 4th and the 6th I think within a week she would have been in very poor condition. I suspect it was kidney failure. I was told that she was having kidney issues back in October of 2021. Um, I, I had to make a decision. Uh, it hit me really hard. Uh, she was one month shy of 17 years of age. Uh, she was born August 12, 2006, and passed July 6, 2023. This is my fourth recording due to technical problems. I really hope I can get through this one. Uh, the first two videos just failed because my computer rebooted for no reason whatsoever. I don't know what's going on there. I really hope it doesn't happen here. The third recording, I actually had gotten through about a 30-minute recording and finished, signed off, went to start editing and discovered that I had shut off audio over in OBS. So the entire thing, I, that nothing, there was no, none of my dialogue was actually recorded. Um, those attempts have occurred over the past, uh, basically two and a half weeks. Um, and that's why nothing's been going on. Uh, between her going downhill, having to have her put down, 
and some other stuff. I got pulled into some theater stuff for tech. Just no real time to uh, play with Chuck and Todd. I do have one episode recorded. Uh, I haven't edited, edited it yet. Uh, but I have to do that, render it, get it up. That takes a lot of time. And right now, I don't know if I have the... I don't know. I just... The joy is kind of out right now. Um, I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, but it's just hard to to uh, find the energy to do that. It will continue. I know it will. Uh, I have to get in touch with Chuck and Todd to continue the series so we can record more. Uh, but our schedules, it's very difficult to get our schedules together. Uh, I do want to keep this short, because uh, the first attempt I was over an hour in. The second was uh, I was right at the hour mark when the computer rebooted. The third attempt, like I said, I think it was 35 minutes when I actually did f sign off. I told an entire story about how I adopted her, uh, that she was, uh, she picked me. She really did. When I went to the shelter, every time I walked by her carrier, she swiped out at me. Um, she didn't swipe out at Jeff, who was with me. Just me. Uh, so I said, okay, I'm, I'm taking this one. She was very absent the past month. Um, her, I miss her. I do miss her. Uh, the house is quieter. Um, Vash is okay, but I, I'm pretty certain she knows something's happened. She greets me at the door every day now, and she's very vocal. She's never really greeted me at the door like that. She's been a vocal cat, but I think, I don't know, I, I, I think she's, where's Dax? Where's Dax? Um... It, it hits everyone differently, I think. Uh, I've gone through this, like I said, this is the fourth run. And I just don't want to do it over again. I talked about, you know, grief and those five stages. Uh, uh, I just don't want to go through it again. I just want to get this out there. What my main reason is for that is... This helps. Being able to talk about it is what helps the best for me. It's hard for your friends to talk about it with you because we don't like to talk about death. It's a very uncomfortable topic. I know myself when... Uh, Somebody loses a loved one. I honestly, I never know what to say, and I you don't want to say something profoundly stupid, so you stay quiet, and it could be interpreted as you don't care, and I don't think that's really the case. It's just people don't like talking about death, but I think what helps is just listening if somebody has to go through this and it doesn't it doesn't mean it has to be a pet uh, i've lost four grandparents two uncles uh i've lost a number of very close friends um and it helps to be, just talk about it uh and that's what this video is is me talking about it because it helps me accept the fact that she's gone. I know she's gone. I've gone past all of that. I've gone past uh, all those stages of grief. And I'm done with it. I know she's gone. I'm not going to wander around the house thinking she's still alive. Uh, she is still with me. I will always remember her short of Alzheimer's or dementia. I will always remember her. I do have her ashes 
in a nice little box there up on her favorite windowsill with her collar and with her favorite little shrimp toy that she liked to uh, nibble at the little antenna feelers all the time. Uh, that's not going to be the permanent location, but that's where she's at now. Um, I have some busy things. Like my schedule is going to be busy for a bit as well. Uh, work is definitely keeping me occupied. I'm also going to Gen Con a week from now. Uh, I'm going to Disney World in September. I had planned that way back in March. Um, so I'm going to be busy, so I don't even know when I'll be able to play Astroneer again, but I will come back to it. I will. Uh, I saw today I just got to 300 subscribers, which I never thought I'd hit more than 20, to be honest. Uh, you know, I don't do this for monetization. I don't do this for publicity. I do this because it's fun to play these games, and I hope other people enjoy watching them. Um, and I know this is a bit of a downer, but like I said, it helps to talk about it. And if I don't sound distraught, or if I don't sound that terrible, like I said, this is the fourth time I've done this. Every single time the computer failed on me, the first two reboots, I kind of rage quit on doing this and just walked away and just said, I'm not going to do it. And then I came back five days later, okay, I'll try it. And then it rebooted again and I rage quit. And then it was only two days ago where I had recorded one and I was very happy with everything I said and I did it in only 35 minutes only to load the video up in OBS to dis I'm sorry in uh, KD and live only to discover that the game audio was recording but the microphone in OBS had been muted the entire time so it was just game audio and uh, this pretty much my little guy standing here so that also made it difficult but I wanted to get something out there it has been as you can see over a month now and uh, I wanted everybody to know that I am going to keep doing this but it probably won't resume until October I'm gonna take a little break um, but I do have a lot going on at the office a lot so I'm gonna be pulling a lot of late hours as well really not a lot of time to play games so uh, you know, I said a lot of things in the prior videos that I want to say again, but I, I also just, I want to get this done. And I don't want to run the risk of a, a random reboot. I, I wanted to let you know what's going on. I wanted to do this because it helps to talk about it. Um, I miss her. I loved her. She was a part of my life. That part is gone. But uh, the world does go on. The world continues. Uh, you know, the birds keep singing, uh, even though they should know that it's the end of the world. Uh, Dax did say goodbye, um, but the world doesn't end. And I have to move on. And it will still hit me. I know there'll be moments that I'll break down. Um... Like I said, the house is a lot quieter. Her antics are missed. Um, but that's all I really want to say. I just want to—I want to get done with this. Uh, so I've condensed from what was originally almost 90 minutes down to 15 minutes, and I will be back. I will. Uh, Just—I need some time. Chuck, Todd, and I have to get back together. Uh, to schedule some time uh, and we'll, we will be back there's been a lot of good content with the game so everyone uh, thank you thank you um, I, I, I uh, this helps it really helps so uh, ladies and gentlemen boys and girls kids of all ages take care and bye.